I mean, your eyes, and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? I can avoid it. No. Holly's sister, Lily. Do you even give a shit about us, the strays? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> Time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Big B, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. You've come a long way. You must be tired. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff. Relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Got a scotch? Only Tennessee whiskey, unfortunately. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff. 
For the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You forget what happened at the Pudding and Pie? You and your goons tried to kill me! I'm truly sorry for that whole debacle. It was not my intention to put you or Miss White in any sort of danger. My wish was merely to take Crane, Sheriff. And as soon as the assignment grew out of control, I put a stop to it. I know that that doesn't change what happened to you. And I can only offer my sincerest apologies. You didn't stop it out of the kindness of your heart. You stopped it because Snow White offered up Crane. That may have appeared to you to be the case, but I assure you, it wasn't. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you, and to assure you that it's over with. I already know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen. But who do you think committed these crimes? It's been a long couple of days for you. It was Georgie, all right. Well done, Sheriff. I'm sorry I doubted you. However, like I said, I'll be handling the matter if you don't mind. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. That you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And you then told attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fuck- All right, let's talk. You can't just hand me over. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'd give a fuck if I'm the one- Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of I here. I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Get the fuck away from me! He's the one you fucking want! This could have gone so well. But you just had to complicate things. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Uh. 
No! Fucking killed her? That's what you'd like to believe, right? I'm really not in the mood, Bigby. <coughs> Sorry. 
So why don't you just fuck off? Stop oh. talking, Georgie! Oh, you think that'll help? I told you I don't want to fucking talk. Especially not with a piece of shit like you. If you don't talk, you're gonna end up like her. I didn't do shit to her! She killed herself! She did it. Just pulled her ribbon off, right there. Didn't fucking matter what I said. She always did what she wanted. She just... Right in front of me. Why the hell would she do that? <clears throat> she said she'd had enough. She couldn't live with what she'd done. She's the original Big Bit. The girl with the ribbon. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. We used hers to make the rest. It started as part of the gimmick, right? Discretion is our guarantee. You know, she came up with that. It was her idea. Whoever thought it would end this way. Fuck. It's not her fault if you used her to keep those girls under your thumb. <laughs> You've got it all wrong. Like anyone could ever tell Vivian what to do. This was our place, Big B. She was in it from the beginning. But then everything went to shit. This was just the final fucking straw. She felt responsible for Faith and Lily. <coughs> what her ribbons did to them. Said she'd rather die on her own terms. For something good. Or at least something close to it. So she ended it. Oh, it didn't matter if that left me to deal with this fucking mess. We promised we'd look out for each other. So what the fuck is this? Just leaving me here. You're a dead man, Georgie. I know. Sheriff. Look, I know you think it's my fault. That I killed him for some twisted pleasure of mine. But I... <coughs> I did what I had to. You don't always get a choice. Sometimes you just have to do what you're told. Don't oh, give me that bullshit. You're responsible. Like hell I am. Some of the girls decided to pull a runner on us. And the crooked man didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says, or I'm the one getting dealt with. I had to do it. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill those girls. And then he fucking sold me out. <coughs> None of this would have happened if it wasn't for that bastard. It's his fucking fault. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Ryan, believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Oh, fuck! Get up. Get up! Don't think so, Bigby. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. You know the bastard deserves it. Don't worry about the crooked man. Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You want to finish me off now? <laughs> or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? Ah! Shit, stop! Fox, just stop! <laughs> At least you're consistent. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> just make it quick. I know what I did. <laughs> All right, Georgie.
Big B Wolf. The Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> you used to be something. They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way, now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a man. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper? Come <laughs> on. 
Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six... I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You sure about that? Yes, I'm quite sure. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. How about I bring your corpse back to the woodlands instead? You're not going to kill me. You'd bet your life on that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. And I don't think I'm being unreasonable. If you decide to do something stupid, like murder me, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. You're smart, I'll admit that. So what I just don't understand is why you're here. I mean, you want to catch your killer, right? Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. Oh, I don't think so. We're not doing this your way. How unfortunate. I was hoping we could make this work. What are you gonna do now? Rip me apart like some kind of animal? Killing me here would achieve nothing. And what would Miss White think? You show up with nothing but a corpse. No answers, no proof. You'll never know the truth, and she'll barely stand to look at you. This is it for you! You... You said enough! Where the hell is Big B? Oh, come on! Where is he? Are you fucking kidding Are me? Are you sure he's coming? Yes, any minute. And then we'll get started. I really appreciate you taking the time. I know it's short notice, but given the circumstances...
What have you done? Oh, God. Bigby. Shit. I killed him. Holy shit. I didn't think you had it in you, Bigby. Stop it! You ripped him apart! I told you to bring him back alive! You really fucked him up. What did you do? He's all... You did this to him? You can all go home. There won't be a trial tonight. No shit. I thought I wanted him gone, but this... It's terrible. No, it isn't. What the hell happened? Tell me. Tell me why you did this. I think it's pretty cool. I was just defending myself. It was him or me. That's not what it looks like, buddy. You tore that fucker apart. I get it, but... You call that self-defense? Oh, God. Would it have been that hard to restrain him? Did you really have to murder the man? Hang on. It's not murder. Then what would you call it? Justice, maybe? This is not justice! You know it's not. Why not? This is Bigby Wolf doing whatever the hell he wants. Which, in this case... You can't do things like this anymore! I say it is justice, and that's the end of it. Are you serious? That is not the end of it. What are you getting on his case about? He did the right thing here! If this fucker killed Lily... And Faith. How can we be sure of that? Without a trial, what evidence do we have? We never had anything concrete. That's why we needed him here. Georgie told me everything. The crooked man made him kill those girls. He gave the order. Georgie? Where's Georgie now? If we bring him in for questioning, we... What? Where is he? Big B? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? I killed him. He's dead. What? I don't even know what to say to you right now. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. You're on board with this? I don't know. I mean, it's not like the Crooked Man didn't deserve it. And if Georgie killed them... You think anyone deserves this? Your job is to keep Fabletown safe. The minute you start abusing your position by attacking people, we betray the trust of this community. And killing those people out there, on your own, without my... Without due process, it makes us look like, like... killers? How could you do this? It's just one thing after another. Look, I'm glad he's fucking dead. But like this? You should be thanking me. I took care of the crooked man and Georgie. It's all over because of what I did. I can't believe this. I made myself very clear. This is not okay. Snow's right. This is... Disgusting! Oh, it's much worse than that! What? Are you guys buddy-buddy with the crooked man all of a sudden? What the fuck is wrong with you? Grand. Everyone! That's enough! Bigby, I can't protect you without the support of this community. The minute you kill another suspect, or rip out someone's throat in a back alley, I won't be able to- to stop them from calling for your resignation. And yours. If that happens, I can't defend you. Do you understand? He's not gonna listen to you. I'd like to see them try. I don't plan on going anywhere. You keep doing crap like this, and that won't be up to you. Listen, maybe you were right this time about the Crooked Man, but what happens when you're wrong? The second you make a mistake about someone, I won't watch you become a murderer. I think it's too late for that. I'm not a murderer. Good. So how do you explain that? That's not- Bigby, don't. Having some personnel issues, Miss White? 
can't control your mutt? Bluebeard, this is hardly the time. It looks like as long as the wolf thinks you're guilty, he has free reign to murder you in your sleep. No, that's not how- Is this how... what we can expect from now on? Yeah, you make one mistake and Bigby's gonna rip your head off? Hey, that's not fair. Maybe a few limbs, too? That's not going to happen. Or just beat us to death. Are we even protected anymore? If we're throwing out the ch Don't be ridiculous, beast. I'm not about to- You think I'm being ridiculous? We all know what you're capable of. You nearly- Gouged my eyes out. Beast. Please, the sh the sheriff isn't going you to see. The wolf does whatever the hell he wants, and the princess is no better. Now hang on a minute. You don't believe me? They came to my apartment, and then for no earthly reason, she wanted my tree destroyed. What? Why would you do that? She was helping people glamour themselves as other fables. We couldn't let that continue. I can't say I'm fucking surprised. I am. Snow, how could you do that? You tried to ruin my life for no reason at- Snow made the wrong call back there. That's why I didn't burn your damn tree. I had very good reasons for asking you to do that. She was working with Crane and the Crooked Man. So that makes me a villain? No, I- you can pretend it's about law and order, but it's time you stopped lying to yourself. You wanted to get back at me for what Crane did. But that doesn't justify it. You both just act out of your own selfish desires. It doesn't matter what's right. At this point, I'd rather have Crane. You don't mean that. At least Crane didn't rip people to pieces. Or destroy. Destroy what's ours. He also earned the position. Don't start. He left us alone. What the hell is wrong with you? You fucked up your own lives, dealing with criminals, making your own bad fucking choices. And now you want to blame us for your screwed up situation. I've been trying to fix the mess you made. How dare you? Is this how it's gonna be? You're gonna blame us. Bigby's right. You people don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Do you seriously think you want Crane back? He was an asshole, and he didn't do shit for any of you. Snow and Bigby found my sister, when Crane wouldn't even look. Yeah, but they only came around. around when they thought it was Snow White who ate it. No, they cared about Lily. They care about all of us. Even if they've got a funny way of showing it sometimes. Thank you, Holly. Oh, come on, Holly. Maybe Snow gives a fuck, but Bigby? I mean, this, I get. But I didn't do shit wrong, and I got my fucking arm ripped. Ripped off. That was different, Gren. Holly's right. Crooked Man took over my shop, but Bigby tried to help me out. Everyone, please, just calm down. We have a right to be heard. Are you afraid of what we have to say? This isn't helping. I'm not finished. Like we give a sh Everyone just shut up. Or what? <laughs> Bigby? Don't. Please, do not blame the sheriff for his outburst. It isn't Bigby's fault. He can't control his nature. And frankly, I wouldn't dare ask him to try. But with a sheriff so... impulsive, 
Shouldn't the new deputy mayor have at least some command over her office? Blue beard? Are either of them fit to run this town? Can I say something? Excuse me? Nerissa? Who the hell is she? My name is Nerissa. Shut the fuck up, Bluebeard. But I said shut up! I haven't been able to speak my mind for a long time. We were prisoners at that club. We had nowhere to go. No one cared enough. Certainly not Crane. You're acting like they haven't done anything good in the last few days, but you know that's not true. Because of the Sheriff and Snow, I can finally talk about what happened to me. To all of us. We're free now. And I think that should count for something. Thank you, Nerissa. She's right. We haven't been there for you in the past, and I'll be the first to admit we've made plenty of mistakes. But I truly want what's best for this town, and we're trying to make things right. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And I'm sure Bigby does too. It's going to take some time to clean up Crane's mess, but he's gone now. The Crooked Man is dead. The killer has been found, and you can all rest easy knowing we're here to look out for you. I'll make sure of it. While that's all very touching, is it enough? I'm still not convinced Miss White has what it takes to control the Sheriff, or run this town. I am. We haven't really given them a chance. Crane just left. Let's see what Snow and Bigby can do on their own. I trust Snow to do right by us. Big B too. I think they've had enough chances. Things are finally changing around here. Maybe you don't feel it, but I do. Big B and Snow are good for Fable Town. She's right. Now that things have settled down, I'm sure they can do better. And we will. Right, Sheriff? We'll do what's right as best we can. We'll see. You see that? It's finally over. Good riddance, at least. This won't end well. Shit. It's over now. Hey, Sheriff. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. Right. Thanks. I'm... I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay?
Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Oh, Garland! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. Hey, carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. <sighs> shit! Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White? Please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, TJ, but uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B! Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? Colin gets to stay. That's bullshit, Big B, and you know it. You're all fucking corrupt. Saying goodbye? Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... It's okay. I get it. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. 
But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Marissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> Here. Thank you. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... It was my fault. I sold them out, and she just... Holy shit. That's... <sighs> That night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her, just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them... Why would you do that? I couldn't think of any other way to get your attention. So you... you started all this. I just... pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's going to be different now, I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I just... I go out there, and I do my job. I put my life on the line. I get shot at. I do what has to be done for them. But at the end of the day, I'm still the bad guy. I know. But they'll come around. You'll see. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but... Without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town, finally. If you hadn't killed the crooked man back there, he would have just talked his way out of it like he always does. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the Crooked Man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before.
You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around.